Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo February 5, 2023. Today's Sun Uranus square can test your patience in spots, particularly regarding opinions, directions, and instructions. Ideally, though, it alerts you to areas that need change and improvement. The desire to perform, improve, and excel in your work or with your health and routines is strong currently, but it clashes with an equally compelling need to explore, learn, and enjoy the benefits of spontaneity in freeform learning and living. Something you hear might stimulate a new way of thinking, so don't disregard communications altogether, but do take some time before reacting. It could be that you stumble upon a new way to approach an old health or work problem from interrupted plans today. Centering yourself can help you make the best of the day's energies. Use your famous damage control skills now. However, the energy that will begin to creep in today will rattle your bones and spirit to your very core. This is because the mighty sun, our great luminary now energizing your solar house will feel metal claws tear through his skin by a vengeful Uranus. This ensures that shocking news could pop up out of left field, leaving you so shaken that you don't have the grounded nature to find a solution or even know which way to turn. You and your partner could feel so on edge, everything around you feels like an all-out war. Try something new. Although you prefer to have a work routine, it might be time for a new adventure when the sun in Aquarius squares Uranus in Taurus. You may be quite invested in your current work life due to the solar influence. But you could be a bit bored with what you have going on, so the square may feel like an intense pressure to make a significant change. If you are looking for inspiration, then Uranus can help you shake things up by looking for new professionally focused opportunities to progress in your journey. At a time when there is still some pressure between the Dwarf Planet series on the income and Jupiter on the financial front, there is also a lot of confidence on both fronts and for good reason. With series turning retrograde today they will soon be out of each other's way, but this is helping to highlight the importance of having the right balance between money coming in and money going out. This is helping to put your income needs and priorities into perspective. There is apt to be an emotional mess in the next couple of days either internal or external and you must resist the urge to clean it up. Today's challenging aspect is like father and mother having a big fight in front of the small child, you. You must take care not to be shut down by the emotional tension you feel. Regular exercise and a diet that includes fresh vegetables will help you stay flexible and centered, emotionally. On this day you will find much enjoyment in sharing stories that have been handed down through the generations in your family. Sharing this verbal legacy with the children and young at heart in your life allows you to experience a strong sense of connection with your loved ones. In the workplace you may also find good uses for your narrative abilities, as well. Expressing yourself is what this day most encourages. When the moon returns to a nostalgic and reflective but also intuitive and imaginative part of your chart each month there is an invitation to slow down. However, when the moon returns today this will begin the lead up to what will be more a demand, something that over the weekend will put how well you know when to keep your work hat on and when to take it off to the test. This is a full moon that will always fall during the sun's month long visit to your busy work sector, but this year things are busier than ever. At the same time that a friendly aspect between Venus in your relationship sector and the south node in your communication sector is separating, the moon is moving on from its friendly aspect to both yesterday. This is something that put the moon in the right place at the right time, helping to amplify a coming together of the communication and relationship gods that is here to stay. Our eyes in the sky. The sun in Aquarius squares off with Uranus in Taurus today. At this time, we are showing off our sentiments and uniqueness for the world to see. Today, we might want to take a walk on the wild side and let other people take notice of the parts of ourselves that we usually hide. You can now be totally open and carefree in how you represent yourself as you throw caution to the wind and live your life. Everything is not going as well as you hoped and as a result, the pressures and anxieties of life take their toll. 
This is mainly due to you trying considerably harder to counter your run of bad luck by being overly efficient. If you find this is the case relax, except sometimes what you're trying to achieve isn't possible and allow yourself a special treat instead. When trying to resolve outstanding issues, you must avoid reacting impulsively, and be prepared to encounter some difficulties. Don't be disappointed at this apparent block to your progress, but take full responsibility for any mistakes that result, otherwise, you create difficulties for everyone involved. If you wish to invest your savings in something new, now is the time to do it. People are being open and honest with you, so you can probably even trust your bank advisor. He will handle your cash carefully, not merely thinking of his own gain. If you're considering investing in something more tangible, don't hesitate to ask others for advice. If you decide against it, you will suffer no adverse consequences. In good shape, your mind and body are in perfect accord and you feel totally invigorated. You're able to take advantage of this feeling to stay on top of your fitness regime. You appreciate how quickly your athleticism is improved and you're much more aware of your strengths and how effective your stamina is. In the morning, the Cancer Moon opposes Mercury in Capricorn, hindering us from thinking clearly. We draw subjective conclusions based on feelings and memories of lived experiences. But then, the logical part of our brain chimes in, picking apart our own argument and rationalizing how we should be behaving. It can feel as though we're in a battle with our own minds, making it impossible for us to find equilibrium. Try to relax. Remember that life events don't have to be compartmentalized. Your response doesn't have to be either, or, one way or the other. Could there be a way to get these two seemingly contradictory attitudes to meet in the middle? Be sure to avoid making any big purchases or making a financial commitment unless they are absolutely necessary. If you have to then try to deal with them in a clear-headed and considered way that cannot backfire. You just can't find the right way to get the best out of your transactions. No matter what you do, your investments tend to make losses. Positive results can't be forced through, of course, so don't try to have your own way. It would be wrong to buy stuff to comfort yourself you might end up with empty pockets. After noon, the moon trines Neptune in Pisces, a harmonious influence. It appears that our sensitive side has tipped the scales, providing us with an extra dose of self-compassion. Embrace it. Life doesn't have to be so stoic and serious. There is hidden beauty all around us that we can tap into. Permitting our intuition to take the reins places us in touch with greater creative, imaginative, and spiritual potency. We recognize that problems do not have to be dissected. Mining them for signs can evince meaningful medicine.